Hi, everyone. Happy Monday. Hope all y'all are doing well. Thanks, replay viewers, for being here. Tonight, I am binding the quilt. I'm very excited. I'm going to flip you around. Oop, flip. Hey there, guys. Happy evening to you. Uh, my name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we create lovely and quirky hand embroidery patterns and kits. And every night I am here at 9.30 Central after I've showered and gotten ready for bed. And uh, it's kind of my craft time, my time to just chill and relax and craft in the evenings. And I welcome you guys uh, to be here with me. I'm so happy you're here. Hello, LaShonda, thanks for coming in. And if you're new here, uh, let me know your name. I try and learn everyone's name that comes in. And uh, tonight we are finishing up this quilt, hopefully. <laughs> If all goes well, we'll be finishing up the quilt. I am machine binding. Oh, my husband's name is John. He's Studio C when he pops up on here. Uh, so, all right. I'm going to flip you guys around and we will get going right away. Flip. All right. Hey, guys. So here is my machine all ready to go. I am using some blue orophil uh, thread for the binding. I didn't have any purple, but I thought this kind of bright blue would be kind of fun. I, I just, I have every other color except for purple. So uh, we're gonna give that a try. I've never actually used orophil thread before. <laughs> yeah, did, did, you, did he pop in here? I missed it. Okay, Susan, you like it? I have never used it before. I, I just got some. And it appears to be much thicker, at least this this kind, than uh, what I normally use. I think maybe it's a top stitching thread, which is perfect for what we're doing. We're kind of doing this little top stitching. Uh, I'm a little scared that it's going to fray in my needle, but I will give it a try. No lint. It's the only kind I use. No lint. Oh, well, that's exciting. I did blow out my uh, machine before we got going here this evening, too, just because I was scared about lint. So I am going to stitch. I did most of it with uh, my new Wonder Clips, which were really great, um, holding it there, but I ran out, so I'm gonna start with my pinned area first, just because I don't wanna stab myself this the whole entire time I'm gonna do this. And I usually have an awl that I use to move things along, except I couldn't find it, so I'm gonna use a little uh, metal crochet hook, my grandma's, one of my grandma's metal crochet hooks instead just to help guide it along, because I've been told to go very slow. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna just get started right away, and we'll see how it goes. I do think I am gonna have to um, really watch this edge so it doesn't stretch and turn and all that as I go. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. So I'm just gonna use my little uh, needle to kind of guide things. I'm going about maybe a sixteenth to an eighth inch from the edge here, and I'm kind of watching this edge to... Oh, I guess you guys can't really see. Uh, this guy's in the way, but I'm watching the edge there. So we'll keep going. We'll check it out once I get a little bit farther. Oh, wow, this is going to be a very, very, very bright top stitch. Uh, let's get a little further, and I'll see if I can show you guys. Yeah, I can see why uh, people like using this Orofel thread for, um, for their quilting and top stitching. It's very bright and colorful and really stands out, so that makes sense. You know, everyone always talks about the Orofil thread all the time, but I've, I've just never had any at my hands. I, I tend to use just what I got around, so I just didn't have any until now. All right, so there you can kind of start seeing it. Once I get a little uh, farther, I will hold it up. But yeah, so far, so far it's pretty fun. We'll see how we keep going. What weight am I using? See, that's the trick. I think this might be a little thicker than usual. I'm using, uh, um, let's see, 12.2. Does that mean anything? Here, let's see if we can get this in focus here. 12, yeah, that, there we go. Does that look 
Does that look like the right stuff? <laughs> That's what I'm using. Uh, 12, wait, it has a red cone. Yep, this is uh, definitely a red cone. So is that kind of the typical quilting weight? I don't do a whole bunch of quilting, so again, this is just super fun for me. Should be 40 or 50. You use it for hand embroidery. Oh, okay. You know, I that might be why I, I, it was sent to me, because I do a lot of hand embroidery. So it actually looks like a thick hand embroidered line here, which I think is kind of fun. So far, it seems to be going through the machine decently. Let's check the back. Uh, the back could be better. Uh, I might I might have to redo this and check my settings, because, like, look, the the back is not working great at all. Hmm, that's kind of a bummer. But the front looks good. Let's see. So if the back is too tight, what does that mean? Let's see. I wonder what I changed for that. I'm gonna just keep going a little further and see. I might actually switch back to a different way just because this isn't uh, not being too nice in the back here. But again, I don't think it matters all that much for this quilt. You might need to switch the bobbin. I only have this, I don't have different size bobbins or anything. But yeah, the bottom is definitely too tight. So okay, sewing machine people, what do I do about that? Should I just try, use a lighter weight in the bobbin? Oh, okay, I can do that. Too heavy a thread. All right, fine, we'll try that. Let's see, I'm gonna have to back up and take this out. I do have a, a similar color in bobbin thread, so let's give that a try. Oh, it's nice to do this with all these good quilters with me. So we'll, we'll give that a test. But I think this is gonna look, here now I can kind of show you. From here it looks okay. See, here you go, that's uh, let's, this is it uh, on the good side. But yeah, look, it's uh, just too tight on the back. Can loosen tension on the bobbin. I don't know how to do all that stuff, people. Here, let's uh, I think it'll be easiest for me to, oh, you just undo the screw a little there, don't you? Um, I think let's try a lighter, bit in the back first, just because that'll be easiest for me. I do have kind of a similar color and a little, uh, little, uh, lighter. So let's give that a try first. I thought about maybe doing a test and figuring this out beforehand, but I thought, meh. I'll do it here and then you guys can watch me not know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's always fun. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna try. Try and thread first. So this is um quite a bit thicker, this this top thread. Yeah, I mean you can see right off the back quite a bit. So I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. It's a wonder it's working on the front. Oh really? Should it not be working on the front? I think it's so pretty, though. I like how thick it is. I can see why it's used for uh, hand embroidery, though. Glad I tuned in. Great tips. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad you tuned in, too. Yeah, maybe we'll learn a whole lot tonight, just because I, you know, like I said, I do very limited stuff on uh, my machine. I do what I need to get by. Uh-oh. So, um, oh man, now I'm going to have a big crazy nest, I think. All right, guys, we're going to have to, oh, there we go. There we go. Let's try and get past the spot. I use 12 weight in my sheen with 50 weight in the bobbin. Oh, okay, and a large needle. So that I'm thinking my needle might be a hair small too. So we'll see. We'll see what this looks like now, now that it's going through. 
Ooh, I'm getting stuck in here. Oh wow, this looks way worse, guys. Here, let me go a little further. Crashy von Crashington. Okay, that's no fun. So we may seam rip this out, guys. But I just kind of want to show you first. You need like a jean size needle. Okay, I do have a jean size needle. Should I try switching that? All right. Yeah, we're stopping this. This is not working. All right, let's try that. Yay, you know what? I'm so happy that I'm kind of like actually really glad that this is not working out great because this whole quilt has been kind of an experiment for me and to be able to learn these things on the way is good. So this is uh, this is the, with the um, thinner thread underneath, so that ain't working either. And this is the thicker thread and that's really tight too. So I'm wondering maybe I should switch over to something to test on. But I suppose this is a tester. I could just keep testing on here. And then when I go around, I can always rip this out. So I think <laughs> this is going to be me basting it down, I think. We're going to just keep going. So let's see. What should we try next? So should I try the um, old bobbin? This bobbin with a, jean, with a jean needle? I did bring my other needles out here because I was suspect that this thread would be different. I'm gonna set that needle aside. Super experimental quilt, it is for sure. So I got uh, these jean denim ones. Do we think that's gonna be good? Let's give it a go. If I can get him out of here. There we go. So let's let's compare, just so we can see. So this is a jean, well, I don't know, I guess 116. It's kind of hard to tell on there. I need a magnifying glass. Wouldn't it be the tension? That's what I'm thinking. It's the tension. Um, but I'm, I don't know how to change that very well, so we'll give that a try too, I guess. I definitely think that uh, the needle would help though too. So here's the, uh, this is my old one. Here's the jean. I just, uh, the jean has a bigger eye and that's kind of what I think will be good because I think it's being dragged through the, um, where's the flat edge? The, the threads being drug a little bit through. All right, let's get a good, I think that edge is fine. Ugh, this is gonna be tough. All right, so yeah, so tension is gonna be the next thing, and uh, I think it's gonna have to be tension in the bobbin, right? Because that's the part that's tight. Could I just tighten tighten up the top? Would that help pull it through a little bit more? Like leave the bobbin tension and uh, change the tension in the top. We'll see, I'll just keep stitching in different ways and we'll experiment. Loosen the top, loosen the top, but it's the bottom that's pulling through too much, so wouldn't, wouldn't I need to have the top be tighter so it pulls up the bottom more? I don't know, I'm asking. It's hard to get bobbin tension back to normal. See, that's what I'm scared of, Susan. I don't wanna kinda mess with the bobbin. Um, too much. So Lisa, you got, um, you think changing the, the bob intention. Let's try this. So we're going to run a real experiment here where we only change one thing at a time. How about that? <laughs> so this is going to be tighten the top thread, pull bottom. Yeah. The bottom threads up. So tighten the top thread, so that's, oh my god, I don't even know. That's a higher number, right? Oh my god. This shows you how little I know about my machine right now. Haven't sewn changing tension for a while. No, I wouldn't touch the bobbin. Yeah, exactly. Higher is tighter. Okay, so I went tighter. <laughs> I know, we totally need this test strip, but I just, I'm just going to use this as my test strip. 
Uh, when I'm done, I will uh, seam rip that stuff out. Don't touch the bobbin. Okay, good. Glad to hear. I don't, I don't especially want to touch the bottom bobbin. All right, so now here's where we're at right now. We have a little tighter tension, and we have the jean, the jean uh, needle in there, and I'm back to the same weight of this, uh, I guess, kind of an embroidery weight. All right, let's let's keep going here. Oh, let me throw this back on. There we go. Need my little crochet hook again. This will be good because I need to know this stuff for when I do the jean quilt too, and I don't want to experiment as much with that one. So, all right, top. Ooh, this is looking a little bit better, guys. Let's get a little further, a little further down. No, my mom, my, my mom used to swear when she sewed. <laughs> oh, I'm having a good time, but yeah, if I was alone, I, you know, it's great to have the help along the way. But yeah, exactly. The worst is when you get like the big nest underneath and, or when you've just tried everything and you just can't figure it out. All right, let's get that tucked in there, a little loose thread. All right, let's see what we got now. Oh, I think this is it, guys. The nest, the freaking nest, yeah. Okay, so I think, let's, what about the top? All right, guys, I think this is it. Let me get a little bit farther and then we'll see. I think we got the right combination, which is so exciting. I don't think I would have been able to get there myself. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty positive I wouldn't. Okay, so let's, let's keep this going. And then I will, um, once I have it far enough, we can check for real up close. <laughs> oh, it's a Christmas miracle. All right. <laughs> Fingers crossed, yep. You know, this is the first time I've I've done a machine binding too, so man, I'm learning a ton. This is great. Ow, dang it. Stabbed myself. That's why I'm doing this edge first. Alright guys, that's looking good. Let's look closer. Yeah, I think that's looking perfect. Let's see up there too. Yeah, okay, great. We are back in business, people. What is the combination? Okay, so we did, uh, um, so here's the problem. I can show you the problems. So here's where I started. The, the top side was good. So let's get in focus there. Their top side looked great, right? But the and the bottom uh, was too tight. It was pulling, like I can see all my top stitches, right? So, yep, tighter tension and denim needle. And so we tried with uh, thinner thread underneath here that wouldn't pull as much, and that didn't work either. It was actually worse than this. So what we ended up doing was, yeah, we... We put the, the bobbin thread back in so that it's the same on the top and the bottom. And we made the needle bigger so it has a larger eye so it can, um, so the thread can flow through it a little bit better because it's a thicker thread, so larger eye for thicker thread. And then we tightened the top so it would um, pull that tight bottom, pull it up a little bit more than it would. And that, that, was, the, that was the dealio right there. I think that was the real um, kicker changing the tension but I think it was good a good idea to change the um to the jean needle uh because because otherwise you know it's not flowing through the eye very well but yeah that tension that's the tricky thing I don't ever use different types of threads in here so this is great I'm excited learn new stuff tonight guys that's fun all right let's see if I can show you guys this yet all right so now here's the new back see so much better let's here's the front front back i think we're good i'm gonna keep going look how uh 
thick and bright that is, though. That's going to be like a fun little stripe going around here. And then once I get to the end here, I'm going to just pick all this out, and then I'll just go through it. You'll finish in no time. Yeah, it'll be good now. I just got to get past these pins so I don't keep stabbing myself. All right, here we go. awesome that I have like such good people in here. I know, yeah, that's not gonna be fun picking that out, but you know what? It was worth the learning, I think. <laughs> I think worth the learning for sure. So I think the first thing is just have the right needle for the right job, you know, that should be kind of a given. I should have done that. What are we gonna make when it's done? Well, there's the jean quilt still. <laughs> you guys are always so helpful. Rippers are our friend, and hey, got one on hand, too. <laughs> I came prepared. Use a razor and make it faster. Ooh, a razor. I'd be afraid of um, snipping into my fabric then, I think. I'm not getting all too close to this edge here. I think I should try doing a little bit better job. I'm trying to keep this straight, but it's so bulky. All right, I think, all right, just a few more pins. Then we can take a look at this again, I think. Time for catch if you're not going to be on. Oh, yeah. Speaking about not being on, I'm... Just a reminder, I'm going to be gone from Friday all the way through Thursday of next week. That's, uh... I showed you guys, uh, that shirt that I made for my grandpa, right? I think I did. If not, I'll have to break it out tomorrow. But my grandpa's taking all the grandkids and, and his kids and all the grandkids onto a trip to Jamaica. And uh, I had to design t-shirts for us that are kind of funny. They have his portrait on them. So we're going to be wearing those. All right. Here is the back. That is how it's looking right now, guys. Let's get in focus here. Come on, machine. There you go. Now you can kind of see. Really bright. Kind of like this um, folding over uh, machine quilting thing. Although I do like hand doing, hand doing my, my binding for sure too. Oh, I, I hope so, Lashonda. That's what I'm... That's the plan. Although I don't, I'm not the best relaxer. Like I, I don't, I'm not a very good sit on the beach and just sit there and do nothing person. <laughs> so I don't know, but I'll do my best. <laughs> I'll bring a, I'll bring a book. It's because I'm hyper. All right, <clears throat> here is the first corner. Getting up to it. Whew, and I get to start using clips, so that'll be nice. Let's get these pins out of my way. All right. Now here, oh no, I got, oh man, I got more pins going on around this side. Ah, bummer, okay. All right, here's where I'm really gonna try and hold it in here. All right, let's turn.
<laughs> almost got the... Almost got the corner done. Yeah, I know, I was concentrating. I had to be quiet for a sec. I was concentrating too hard here. All right, let's see. I don't know, I think it turned out all right. Let's get a little further and then I'll show you the corner. I totally missed what you guys were talking about. <laughs> it looks like you have a whole plan for something, but I totally got, uh, I got totally distracted. <laughs> Plans for when I'm away, oh. <laughs> Oh yes, that'd be great. All right, here's the corner. So when I'm done, I mean, maybe I won't, but in theory, you can go and hand stitch these so they're like nice and uh, nice and together. But I don't know, it's kind of fun like this too. Maybe I'll just keep it. But otherwise I'll just do like a little invisible stitch to get those together. But yay, that's one side pretty much. Still looking all right, I think. Yep, it's still... I can almost pull... I'm gonna make it a hair tighter. It looks like I can... I can start seeing the the back come through a little bit. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna just tighten it up a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't mess it all up. I'll have to keep an eye on it. Oof, that wasn't even down all the way. I'm liking the Wonder Clips, though. Way less stabbings. So I'm just using this to kind of keep it flat for the time being. All right, let's see if that tension kept it good. Hmm, we probably could do even more. I mean, in general, I think we're going to be fine. Oh yeah, the clips are definitely easier than unpinning. The nice thing is that they're flat on this side, so they're flat against uh, against the deal here. And I've been kind of I've been kind of rough with the quilt here, and none of them seem to be popping off, so that's even better. I might actually put one in here. Towards the end, I was using less and less just because I was running out of them. But yeah, so far so good. Yeah, you because know, they're flat, so I can uh, go all the way up to uh, up to the edge here, and then I can just pop it off. Yeah, this is definitely uh, going way faster than than hand quilting. I'm a little concerned about my uh, tension here still, but I don't know. I'm gonna make it a hair tighter yet and see what happens. But in general, I think the tension is gonna be is just good enough. Ah. Tweak it a little. Yeah, that's that's the plan. Yeah, I've never I've never done anything with my bob intention before. That totally freaks me out. At least with this, I know how to get back to like the number three, which is where I'm usually at. I'm not sure this is actually doing anything to change it, so I think we're just gonna keep going. Looks much better than it did, so I think we're fine. I don't know, I'm kind of happy that I didn't have the, the right color for the, the top stitching, because uh, this is really fun, this, this blue, I think. It's bright, bright blue. Although a really shiny matching purple would have been pretty fun too, I think. Oh good, I'm glad you think so, Cora. Ah. 
out of there. Binding's definitely not going to be equal all the way around, but that's okay too. Definitely not too worried with perfection with this project. Uh. We're almost to the next corner. Oh wow, that's coming undone quite a bit though. Alright, yeah, this whole area is needs to be rolled a little bit more. Let's stick a clip in there. I like this purple. I have a whole giant bolt of this purple, so I'm happy that I'm using it up. Well, barely, but still, I'm using a couple yards of it up at least. All right, that's just gonna be how it's gonna be, I think. I think when I do these things, I try to go too fast. Uh, I, maybe I'll get faster. Right now, I'm just, I don't know, doing what I can do. <laughs> All right, let's, this corner's a little funky, but I think it's gonna be what it's gonna be. All right. Let's get this guy out of the way. Alright, turn. I gotta get up and lift this whole thing up. Man, I could, this, doing this on a king size quilt or something, that would be kind of crazy. Alright, let's check my tension again. I think we're looking a little bit better. So here's, here's how the back's looking. You can kind of see the ends of my quilting, but I'm alright with that. It's fine. It is what it is. It would've been fun to, to quilt it in a really bright color like this too. Alright. I've been remembering to put my presser foot down. That's... that doesn't always happen. That's when the nests start. Uh, Irene uh, popped in here from Greece. How are you doing tonight? Oh, it's probably morning by you. All right, look, we're getting to my little label. Gotta throw that in there when I can. <laughs> oh, 6 a.m., wow. Props for being up that early, that's pretty impressive. Although I suppose that's normal time for a lot of people. That's when I'm trying to get up. I'm, I've been trying to get up at six, but I haven't been, um, my husband's been sick and I haven't been feeling all too great lately either. So I've been sleeping in a little bit more than I, uh, than I'd like. But yeah, that whole goal of consistency and stuff, that's 6 a.m. is what I'm hoping is like my my getting started to read in the morning time. But yeah, the past, uh, past week or so has not been great for that. But I'm going to get back on it again. That and all the exercising and all the rest of it. I have been writing still, though, so I've been pretty consistent with that. Shooting for 7.30. Yeah, Andrew, this this part, uh, if you're doing it by hand, it can take a really long time, but it's actually really relaxing. Oh, I shoot for 9 a.m. Yeah, that's 
that's kind of where I was at LaShonda. I'm, I'm really trying to reshape my mornings a little bit more. Oh, Blaine the cat. Oh, did your kitty wake you up? Silly kitty. All right. Well, today I got up at 11. <laughs> so, I don't know what that says. Uh, I was going to have some people come in and work today, but they canceled, and then I just was not feeling well. So, it was a l way, very, very, very late get up for me. So, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, uh, yeah, I know, it's bad. I'm hoping that doing that helped me get a little bit better. I'm trying to, I thought I was getting strep again. Oh, this is totally weird. So when I got strep a few months ago, I, uh, my face like totally broke out in a really odd way and it turned out to be strep and I had never heard that before. And so it's kind of doing the same thing now, which I'm sure everyone wants to hear about, but, uh, they basically said that it, it's, uh, it, I didn't, I don't have strep now, but it, they said that it could be just how my body reacts to, like, histamines. So they said to take an antihistamine, which basically means that I might have a virus in my body, like a cold that's releasing all those things. So it's kind of like the warning sign of I could get a, a cold, <laughs> apparently. So that's fun that I get a breakout like crazy before I get a cold now. And I'm kind of, I've been t taking cold ease and stuff, too. Yes, virus is trending right now. And that's exactly what my husband is getting over. Well, it's either an allergy or something like a virus releasing something. So they, so they have me. Well, they don't have me. I mean, it's... Um, they, now I'm taking an antihistamine. So um, Benadryl in the evening. I, yesterday was the first time I did that. And then Allegra during the day, which I've never taken before. They don't... Well, yeah, no, no, no. I know it's it's not that. It's uh, it's not normal acne. It's something else. It's like it's not going away, and it's just being. It's just weird. It's different. Um, so I'm gonna see if this works. I don't know. We'll see. When I get overstressed, I break out in hives. Ugh. Yeah, not fun. It's like, it's like we need other things to show off that we're not feeling good or that are stressed, you know? I mean, like, I am not happy with it, but yeah, so we'll see, see how that goes. But yeah, the sleep um, has been good. I mean, I've definitely been feeling, my eyes have been really glassy too, and I thought it was just uh, staring at the computer, but I think it might be some sort of allergy-ish thing too. <laughs> it's a chocolate binge, yep. I got some of that too, Andrew. <laughs> so we'll see. Hopefully the trip helps out, but you know. Or if I do get a cold, I hope that it's done by the time I go on the trip. Alrighty. Yeah, this is cruising right along. It's still looking good. I don't think I will, um... Yeah, we're still good. Nope, I did find bathing in vinegar. Oh, really? Oh, that's interesting. I've never heard that before. It makes sense, though, I suppose. All right, we are um, a little bit further to the... Vinegar! Vinegar for everything! <laughs> I am binding the qu quilt that I've been working on for a little while now, Irene. So this is the last step. I'm machine binding it. Yes, this fish should give me into... Oh, use it to wash the face. Oh, that's interesting. All right. Huh, that's interesting. You know, I feel like I've given everything a try, but I don't know. I haven't tried that, so I might <laughs> might have to give that a go, too. 
But right now I'm thinking that this is a little different and I'm just taking these antihistamines and we'll see what happens. I never ever, I, I rarely take any kind of medicine though, so it kind of freaks me out, but oh well. How did you shower in it? Wow, that's crazy that that worked. That isn't good for a very seated doctor. Yeah. That's what I did, and that they said to do the antihistamines. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't trust doctors with that face stuff so much. I just have not had good luck with people. They just want to give me creams and, like, things that can hurt your kidneys and all this other stuff. And I'm like, I am not playing that game. All right, this is going to be this corner. Causing pee, cause pee, send a Oh, yeah. Okay. This is corner number three. This is the corner that actually looks good, I think. semi-decent. All right. Turn. Okay. This is the last row. Oh, wow. This is the last row before I have to um, unstitch the, uh, or take out that area that we messed up uh, at the beginning here. I messed up with the wrong tension and everything. Yeah, exactly, Irene. <laughs> exactly. I'd love to go see, you know, like a natural or a, a, a more natural doctor who actually, like, looks at what you're eating and that sort of thing. Like, when I was doing the Whole30, that was really good, but that's really tough. But I got to try that again. Um, but I'd like... I'm. I'm convinced that I can deal with this, like, with what I eat and, and that sort of thing, um, just to be healthier and just be, you know, anti-inflammation stuff for your body. But there, I mean, there, those, none of those doctors, yeah, none of those doctors are covered by any sort of insurance. So I've sort of not done it. So it's like, you know, $300 or something every time you want to go see someone like that. And that's before they do anything. Um... So I don't know. It's on my list. I'm gonna try the whole thirty stuff again because that look that worked really really well, um, until I got strep, <laughs> and then it kind of negated everything that I was trying. Uh, so I might try that. But if that is a doesn't work, then I am gonna go maybe try a a different doctor. But right now I think it's a different situation. I think it's um like that antihistamine thing, like a, a cold coming on sort of thing. Oh, yeah, you don't want, I like, with, oh, man, no, it's a bajillion dollar. Like, I don't, it sucks because you can't go to the doctor for anything, really, because it's just going to cost a ton of money. Even if you have insurance, it's a lot. Really? Wow. All that is fascinating, what you guys are suggesting. I haven't heard anything like that. Huh. Oh, I like this purple on all this stuff. Oh, really? So gargling three yeah, uh, salt water three times a day? That's fascinating. Which antihistamine? I'm taking, um, deductibles have gone up a lot. Yes, it's insane. I'm just taking like Allegra during the day and um, uh, what's that one at night? Benadryl at night. 
but I don't, I mean, I'd rather not do that. So I'm just gonna take it until I can tell that it's not doing the same thing. Um, yeah. So what did you say again, Cora? You just gargle with salt water? Vix on the chest, a oh, bottom of the feet. Oh, that's interesting. Zyrtec, oh, okay. Ginger, lime peppers are all cleaners. I do, um, I, I eat a lot of ginger. I, I feel like I eat pretty well, but not as good as when I was doing the whole 30. So I'm almost thinking some things like rice and that sort of thing have been affecting me or, you know, grains sort of things, but I won't know that until I do the whole 30 again. But I'm waiting till after we get back from this family trip because that's going to be definitely not whole 30 friendly. Warm salt water and gargle as long as I can. Three times a day. Okay. Do a blood test. See, all, like I, I want to do all that stuff, Irene, but that's like the part that gets tricky. Like I, with insurance and doctor and, and all that sort of stuff. Like I don't even know where I would go do that. Huh. That's so fascinating. I'm going to start doing that. We'll do a little test. <laughs> I'm gonna totally do that. I'll do that tonight before I uh, go to bed. Grandmas know everything. They sure do. Make sure we bob and thread yet. Yep. Huh. All right, I'm gonna try that. I've never heard that before. All right, I am so happy we figured this out. Ooh, we might be uh, we might be cutting out soon. I hope I hope we don't. But if we do, thanks so much for all your eyes' help. This has been great. It works takes time, but it works. Okay, well that's fine. I'm can deal with time. I've been dealing with my life. Makes your gums stronger too. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. All right, let's get past this last corner, and then I think we are um. Time to pick out, uh, pick out with the seam ripper. So if we cut out, I'll probably still do that and finish it up tonight. And then I can show you it all laid out tomorrow. I know, it was so close, right? I know, if we didn't have to um, redo or pick out all this stuff, we, we'd be done. All right, that was the last corner. Woo I learned more medical remedies in five minutes than the entire season of House. Oh God, House is the scariest thing to watch. <laughs> if you're if you're uh, don't like medical stuff. Oh, that's a good show. I I like that when it was um that was back when I watched TV um before internet stuff. Like in college, I think that we watch it in college a lot. All right, that was the last clip. Except for now we're back to uh, all this area. So I might actually stop there and then start picking this out. You know, I'm wondering if I should, maybe I'll clip this as I take it out. But yeah, so now I'll be doing this for the for the evening. There's a fast way to do this. Let's start at the bottom. Here we have to go have 30s now. We're supposed to get, oh, one to three. Are you talking about snow? Because when someone says one to three here, it means inches of snow. I'm dancing and singing, dancing you. If you pull the bobbin thread out, it'll pop right out. Oh yeah, that's right. You're right. I will do that. I gotta undo my back stitching here. And then I'll be able to do that. You're right. Okay. Let's, uh, there's a f easy way of doing, um, this too with the seam ripper and I just can't think of it right now. Okay. There we go. There's the bobbin thread. Zoop. Oh, nope. 
Yeah, here it is uh, negative... Oh, I'm going to clip this as I go. Negative um, 8 or 9 <laughs> degrees Fahrenheit right now, so it, it'll take your breath away when you, when you go outside, so that's... That's pleasant. Yeah, it, it's it's kind of the worst right here. It's been the coldest it's been. How long did you... Did it take to do the quilt? Ah, oh, I've been working on this kind of since I started periscoping just on and off. On top, pull every four stitches. Yeah, I'm doing... I'm just kind of taking... Oh, look, now I got a mass of stuff here. Okay, I gotta take care of this. I got a, a little bit of a nest here. A negative two and wind chill. Yeah, it's that wind chill that gets you. Yeah, I got a a tiny nest here. Not not too bad. There we come. I was grumbling at 46 degrees. Oh man, that would be... Oops, I didn't intend to do that. Oh well. Um, that would be awesome if it was 40... 40 some. There we go. Let's get more of this bobbin thread out. Zoop! <laughs> you live in the desert. Yeah, that's, I guess, 40. 40s this is probably pretty cold for the desert. The thing that people don't really realize is that it can still get to like a hundred, like over a hundred degrees here. Oh, up to 130. Ooh, yeah, that's that's quite a bit. We we'll get in the hundreds still sometimes. But what sucks is that it's um, it's high 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 humidity hundreds. So it's it's pretty unpleasant. But that's not usually for very long. All right, this is, we're coming along. I'm not the fastest seam ripper. We're almost done with this first bit, but then I have that second, that second um, area that's messed up too. Oh no, unless, oh, did I get that already? Oh wait, that might be both. Oh, I think, oh, I think we did both of them already. Awesome, so, um. So we're ready to almost stitch again. I thought I had another um, another whole area section to do yet, but it doesn't look that way. Yeah, this is it right here. Well, again, if we cut out, hopefully we're um, hopefully we're not totally cutting out yet. But if we do. <laughs> I'm so happy you guys were here and that we got to do this together. All right. I'm hoping that we can whip this out yet, though. I'm, I'm just about done with unpicking everything. This is it right here. Uh, I, my stand is, I have um just a little uh, clamp that holds the, there we go that holds the the phone and then that I have on a Joby oh yes I'll definitely um put this on Instagram and and stuff I'll, on Facebook for sure I'll take it I'll try and take a good photo of it soon all right we're ready to sew again and then I have the the Joby stand on 